Modeling the relationship between entities in a social network is crucial for data mining algorithms. And in this section, we will talk about different ways of doing that. From the modeling perspective, a network is just a set of nodes with links between them. However, the real challenge is to decide where to put edges between the nodes so that you have a graph that reproduces the complexity of the real network. The common ways to model a web or social network include building random graphs, scale-free graphs, and a small word graph. The first model is simple. We assume there are n nodes in a graph which are connected by an edge with probability p. The degree in a graph follow a Poisson distribution. The Poisson distribution is a discrete probability distribution that expresses probability of a certain number of events that happen in a fixed interval of time, space, or volume. Suppose we are counting the number of occurrences of an event in a given interval of time, distance, or area. For example, how many new friends a Facebook user gets in a day? The number of events in a random variable which may or may not follow the Poisson distribution. If the following requirements are fulfilled, you can expect the value of the events actually follows the Poisson distribution. 1. Events are happening independently. 2. The probability that a certain event occur in a fixed interval of time stays the same through time. With this definition, the links in a random graph are added independently and randomly. The random networks generated with the same set of parameters n and p look slightly different to each other. Although the real networks are not Poisson, the random networks provide us a useful model to do some initial analysis. The second network model is a scale-free network. A scale-free network is a network where there are a significant number of highly connected nodes. The degree distribution of the nodes follow a power law, which is introduced later. One problem facing us would be what sort of networks are scale-free? One possible example can be the internet. If we represent the computer or the router as nodes, and the edges represent their connection. Wikipedia is another example. If a node is an entry of a term, and a direct art denotes that an article references another. For some reason, scale-free networks seem very common. But why? I want you to think about how a scale-free network forms. Consider a network where new arcs attach to nodes with a probability related to the number of links it has already. That's the probability that a new node connects to a given existing node be proportional to k, which is the degree of the node. In this model, the network becomes scale-free. This kind of network is robust to network failures since the probability that a node with high degree to be deleted is low. Therefore, after some random vertices got deleted, the networks still tend to stay connected. Next, I will introduce the power laws.